Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today I have two P UP5000 um, pylon type batteries connected. Yes, it's not supposed to be in a plastic bag, so um, this is just temporary because we're going to install them tomorrow. So let me take, take you through the steps that I followed to get this to work. So from what I understand, you can connect 16 of these without a without an external device which is pretty exciting you don't need to use the dip switches anymore to do the connection so let's start with the day inverter um, the day inverter I put it in the BMS 485 connection port let me see my screen my screen the inverter is on generator signal is on because the batteries are 39 percent um, once it gets to that point that generator signal will stay on until either the grid starts charging or the gen comes on and starts to charge so um, here is the inside not much difference from what I showed you the last time there are some component components inside that have changed but let's go on to the pylon tech batteries so here are my two pylon tech batteries some people will connect the negative at the same place they connected the positive I usually will do my positive at the top and my negative at the bottom my interconnecting cables as you can see um, they are there from what pylon tech says this can handle up to 100 amps charge and discharge which is pretty impressive and most homes you're going to run you're not going to pull 100 amps out of these batteries so this setup here on my day is set for 100 amp charge and discharge now the dip switches these dip switches apply to um, board rates which we're not doing at this time um, here is your link port. So your link port is what allows you to connect one battery to the other. Link port zero is your master. And then, as you can see, it goes from link port one to link port zero. Then from link port one, so this is our first slave. If we have another battery, we'll go from link port one to zero, which is the next, and on and on till you connect all 16. Um, our power switch, you turn, it on, you, turn the ma you turn the power switch on here. I turn the power switch on here and then you push the run button and it turns your slave on um, your BMS connection there is A and there is B A is CAN B is RS-485 we are using RS-485 which is what we connected on our inverter we could also do CAN I believe our inverter does both 485 and CAN you can see it right there let me see if I can show you you see right down there is CAN and I, and I could do RS-485, so I could do both. So I chose to do 485, and that's what I'm connected to down here, 485, instead of CAN connections. These contacts, I understand, you could, use, you could send, so you know how we do the gen signals? You could actually use this to turn the generator on or off. I don't know how you program it. It's saying it's an 8, um, let me see, where is the manual? Oops, sorry. It's an 8-volt signal. 8 to 12 volt signal so I, I read the manual and I found that out and for me it's nice that they keep upping the ante so if you recall my batteries my battery my battery is pretty big these two here are equivalent to my batteries and the beautiful thing about this is I can discharge it to 95 percent pylon tech allows that we can discharge it to 95 percent so now we are giving our customers 90 percent of the battery capacity which is mind-blowing so to give you perspective right to get the equivalent 12 volt 200 amp hour batteries I'll need eight of those now each of those batteries weighs about 62 kg over 100 pounds okay this is 40 some odd kg this is 40 some odd kg so combined 80 kg which is that for so I have 80 kg 80 kg in battery let's get crazy 90 kg in battery which i know is not to give me the equivalent of eight 12 volt 60 kg batteries so i'm replacing 720 kilograms in batteries with these two items here much less space it just blows your mind how far battery technology has come so um if you like what you've seen please give me a thumbs up if you had to subscribe click the subscribe button I continue to try to bring you incredibly good content. I'll post this as soon as I possibly can. I think I'll post it today. I have content I recorded, content I recorded before. I'll post those a little later. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from 
Lagos, Nigeria.